Well, hello there, everybody. This is your favorite mapper, Kiev mapping, and uh, this is this is this week's commentary video. It's going to be a bit short, but I just want to go over uh, something I posted uh, yesterday, I believe. Yeah, it was yesterday. I I absolutely remember that. I definitely did. I know this is a bit late, but I would like to go over uh, some of the things happening to this channel after the recent alternate future of your world thing. And I sort of went over it in the last video, but uh, I, I don't know if that, that got clear, that, that, that uh, cleared some stuff up for some people. Which, by the way, even if there's like, the thumbnails are completely unrelated to my channel, I still talk about my videos, just in case you're aware, so it, if you're looking for the latest updates when it comes to any of these series, make sure to watch my Bed Wars commentary videos, each of them, because you'll be getting the latest updates in terms of progress and that, and I feel like that would be especially important given the fact that uh, a couple people may have started a, a, a school today. So basically the rundown is, is that alternate future of Oceania and alternate future of Canada go on sort of a similar schedule to what I showed at the end of my September update video. Basically, if you guys want the simpler rundown of things, alternate future of your world will be happening every two weeks. And in between then, you guys will be getting alternate future of Oceania and alternate future of Canada. If I'm not quite set aside with the final product yet, Basically, if I'm not able to finish it, then alternate future of your world will basically take up that spot. So there's a chance that you might end up having, I'd say, two alternate future of your worlds in a row, and then you'll get whatever video I'm working on. This is going to be continuing up until Canada Part 8. Uh, once that's released, I'll be giving Caribbean more of a spotlight, starting with Part 4 of Caribbean. Uh, that's mostly because Canada Part 9 is also a very big episode, and that's going to require a decent amount of work. So once uh, Canada Part 8 is done, you'll be getting a lot more alternate future Central America plus the Caribbean. Speaking of big projects, there is a tiny little teaser at the bottom of the schedule. And yes, it is in fact for Viewer Wars Part 5. Now, I know everyone's, or not not everyone, a, a decent amount of people that watch these videos are probably, like, going crazy, because it's like, <laughs> He's talking about Viewer Wars Part 5, guys! I, I know he's continued, like, three of his series, but the one series he hasn't touched up on, dude, oh my goodness! Basically, if you translate the message, it says something along the lines of Viewer Wars Part 5, Act 1, October 18th. Now, I already know some of you guys might not like this idea, but it, it actually needs to be done. Unless you want, like, another, like, a three-hour Korean, uh, like, episode, I, this, I need to divide this up, okay? It's already gonna be long enough. In terms of progress for Viewer Wars Part 5, I've actually, uh, started working on it again. Because I didn't get the ch as I said previously, I didn't get the chance to it, all summer, basically. Uh, but I'm, st I'm starting to work on it again. It's very nice. The script for Act 1 is completely done. So that's why I'm, I sort of did a bit of a more recent time, more recent time frame. It probably won't come out on the 18th, but that's currently what I'm aiming for. I'll probably be releasing an actual trailer down the line, uh, detailing a bit more, giving a bit more uh, hints about uh, Viewer Wars Part 5, and uh, that's when you'll probably get the actual date, just, just so you guys know. It may come out October 18th, that's what I'm aiming for, but y you guys know me very well enough. You guys know I'm not probably not going to make that. But yeah, that's uh, really all I'm here to talk about. Uh, one thing I'd like to ask is, you know how you've been sending me so many requests for your world? And I really appreciate that. But can you give me some commentary ideas for these videos? Because I feel like I really need them. 
This is the second video in a row where I've talked about just my schedule. I need something to talk about here. Give me some kind of opinion. Don't give me some dumb, like, country ball, Poland ball stuff. Give me some worthwhile ideas I'd love to talk about in a video like this. Please. I would really appreciate it, and it would make my life so much more easier. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll see you guys next time then. And then I will see you until next time, my friend.